Hey, if you like the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey everybody, the channel's called Driving Home. I'm Lamont, and welcome to another one of my videos. I am going to, I'm still on vacation, uh, out here camped out, and this morning I decided I was going to try and cook uh, some potatoes for breakfast. I saw this uh, short video on YouTube, and I can remember as a kid having those potatoes, but um, I never tried to make them. I think I have everything the guy mentioned in the video uh, to do it, so I'm going to give it a shot. It's just simple onions and cut up a potato and um, salt and pepper is what he used. I got a little onion powder. I might throw some of that in there too for, for laughs. But yeah, I just thought I would uh, try to show me using the living space. I'm always showing me building it, but let me give you an idea of what it's like to use the living space. So right behind me are the dishes that I washed last night. Uh, after dinner and so I got to kind of put a few things a few things up and then I can get started cutting up and prepping the potatoes and getting ready to cook all right hopefully you guys got a good spot I tried to block some of the lighting so it's not just shining right into the to the phone um, it's pretty cold outside it's like 45 degrees so I didn't want to just swing the doors open or anything like that lose all my heat so let's get started on this uh this uh, breakfast potatoes. Now, yeah, oh, I forgot. Um, I guess ideally I'd be cooking bacon and eggs or something to go along with these potatoes, but I consider that sort of advanced cooking and uh, I don't think I can handle that. I might be able to cook the potatoes and if I don't eat them all up before I can cook some turkey bacon and eggs and then reheat the potatoes or something like that, uh, I know I won't be able to get it all at the same time, but if I could do something like that and get it all hot at the same time, I guess that could work out too. <laughs> all right, let's see what happens. Yeah, I had realized that my gray water tank it's only two and a half gallons, but it sits under the sink. And I realized I might need to go ahead and dump that before I before I continue because um, I didn't want it to overfill um, just in case I needed a little more water than I had anticipated. Um, it was already about half full, so that's me throwing my beanie on and running outside, um, getting that squared away so that I can come back in and finish my cooking. It's awfully quiet in here, not being able to listen to the radio. Um, that's part of my morning routine is to have the radio on while I'm getting breakfast or whatever made. I heard a lady on YouTube say potatoes are easier to peel when they're dry. So she peeled them and then she washed her potatoes. So I thought, all right, I'll give that a shot. I think the last time I, well, I cooked french fries and I just cut them with the peeling on, but uh, the last time I did it, I washed the potatoes first. And um, I don't know, I didn't really peel them either, so. Whenever I can, I try to just let the water trickle when I just need to rinse off something, rinse off my fingers or like the knife blade before I start cutting the onions so that I'm not wasting water because I could max it out and just, um, you know, a half a gallon of water in a matter of seconds, I think. So um, that was that's my way of trying to conserve water um, whenever I can. Onions got my eyes watering.
So this is my second time stirring the, the potatoes. Let me show you what we're working with here. They look they look about right. I don't I don't know. Um, at least until I guess I taste them, but they look pretty good to me. I might have cut them a little too thin. Um, because one or two is almost like a potato chip te texture. But um, yeah, I think these are about done. I'm going to turn the fire off and then uh, give them a taste and see what happens. See if I can get you guys set up over here. Yeah, I didn't make the uh, the bacon and eggs. I don't even know if I'm going to. I'm just eat a few of these. I remember as a kid um, not really liking toast very much so I would just put jelly on a piece of bread and eat it with the, eat it with the potatoes when my mom made them. Let me show you here. Just a little, a little taste. This was an experiment. I was curious to see if I could pull it off. Um, but now I'm curious to see if uh, what it tastes like. I don't, I don't have a clue what to expect here. Because um, I don't remember the, the little recipe on the video saying how much salt to use or what to turn the fire up or down to. I you know I just want I just kinda made it up as I went. Actually it's not bad. Um I think it could probably use a little more salt and pepper, but I like my food low salt whenever I can do it, so I'm not going to touch it. Yeah, that was this is awesome. Well, anyway, that's how it works out living in this vehicle. It um it's easy to move around for me. I'm used to it. I, I'm at the point now where I know where, where everything is and um yeah. This was a this was a good experiment. <laughs> well, if you hung around this far in the video, I certainly appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you soon.